Also, a new competitor in low-cost airlines, Iceland's Wow Air, yes, yeah, called Wow Air, tries to crack the transatlantic route because the company has, uh, well, been around since 2011. It employs about 170 people, but the firm's founder says he has the right business model to make cheap transit tra transatlantic travel, say that three times, possible, yes. Uh, low-cost long-haul. The low-cost airlines have changed the travel landscape completely. Not only have they attracted tourist travellers who make up the majority of those trips, but they have also seen a, a, a growing uh, demand for short-hop trips. They're now even trying to woo the business traveller. We're going to have more. We're going to have... In fact, I sat down with the boss of WOW and we're going to uh, show you that coming up on the World Business Report. Low-cost airlines, they, yes, we know this, they've changed the travel landscape completely, but they have um, still not broken into a key, uh, into a key route, that is the transatlantic flights. Well, a new low-cost carrier called Wow Air, yeah, it is called Wow Air, is hoping to change all of that, promising the lowest airfares between Europe and North America, if you're prepared to go via Iceland. But can they make money from such cheap fares? That's the question I put to its founder and CEO, Scully Mohansen. The real opportunity is not how can I fly more efficiently from A to B. It is how can I be more efficient in approaching our customers? How can I sell to them directly? And how do I do that? Online. Back to my background. How do I learn about the customer? How do I leverage that? How do I become a lot more than an airline? How can I offer a total travel experience to sell you the hotel, the entertainment, the rental car throughout your entire experience? That's the key, that's the opportunity, and that's the ancillary revenue business model that, of course, the low-cost carriers have now demonstrated. Those who are doing it very well actually are enjoying margins north of 15%. Okay, let's talk price point. Tell me, how much is it going to cost me to fly to North America on we believe we can offer prices that have never been seen before. So we will have the initial launch price of £99 from the UK to North America. And we will have the initial launch price of $99 from the US to Europe. Is there a demand, do you think, from passengers for a one-stop across the Atlantic? Absolutely. Uh, the fact is, unless you're flying from Boston to London, or Boston to Amsterdam, or Boston to one of the major hubs in Europe, you have to do one or two stops anyway. And that's not going to change. And this is actually a, a key, key, key point. So we are not flying to New York. I'll be the first one to admit, okay, when I said, okay, I'm going to America, I thought, let's go to New York. Why? Because I love New York. But if you look at the competition, New York, London is the most populated route out there. So it's most competitively priced. And these are the routes that the Dreamliner and these larger carriers will go after. There you go. Wow, indeed. If you're watching in America, 99 bucks. 99 bucks to come over here, get on those planes.